Welcome to another episode of Mad Aussie Adventures. Where we going or where we been or what are we doing, haven't you? We're here in a chuka at the moment and uh, yeah, looking forward to showing you around. Good morning from Rotary Park, Uchuka. So if you're looking for a place to stay, this is $10 per night. And if you want to use the dump point or get water, I think they charge uh, an extra $5 for both. But you're right next to the river. It's actually a nice peaceful little spot. But the river is like way down there. Oh, how beautiful is that? And we've got bits of old machinery and stuff to have a look at. And just to note, um, even though they advertise it on Wiki Camps that there's toilets and showers, they seem to be locked all the time. So I don't know if that's literally just for the people that at the race course using the facilities but yeah so just so you know that don't know if they still run it or not but it's like they had a little a little train track looks like it still might be in use right, well we obviously didn't go far enough because check this out if we come up even further We've got more parking down near the bank that's a bit closer. There's heaps of parking down here. Well, we just missed out on the best spot at the Rotary Park. <laughs> we just thought it was this top se section that you could park. But look at all this. There's another little railway track. This reminds me of Penrose Park in Broken Hill many, many years ago. There's all the campers over there. What a spot. Wow. Okay then. So we just booked into a caravan park at Ichuka because we thought we'll just, yeah, it's pretty average up here for $10. We'll just stay a night and then go to the caravan park just for something a bit different. Um, that might have been a mistake. I'm gonna go check this out properly. I'll catch up with you in a minute. Alright, here's the other section. It's very cute. Here's your little railway crossings. <laughs> I'll show you that in a sec. I mean, it's not like there's any actual access to the river, I don't think. It gets very boggy here when it's wet. Alright, so at this caravan park they offer you deluxe drive-through sites which are quite nice and spacious and in between each bay there is like a planter box so it feels a little bit uh, nicer and you're not too close to each other in a way for a caravan park anyway. But this is the drive-through. So plenty of area to park up your van, in your car and then you've got all this grass area to do with what you want. Seems like a good base for a game of bocce. Oh, you just love losing, don't you? <laughs> so this is the camp kitchen. Very clean, neat and tidy. Yeah, cool. Got to be happy with that. Apparently the water park is quite new. That looks pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty wicked. 
when you come to this caravan park don't get the impression that you can go swimming in the river <laughs> when you look it up on Google, oh, it's right next to the river. Yeah. But uh, the only downside, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's a bit of a bugger. It looks like there's a couple of access um, gates, but yeah, and then there's all houseboats all along there, and it's like sort of private, and it's not like you've got little a beach area that you can jump in and have a swim. Now this little cafe has great coffee just up the road from the caravan park and they sell their own certified organic honey and you can sit out the back and watch the paddle steamers go by. This is the thong tree. I don't know why they call it a thong tree. Um, and if you have a look at the top there when this flooded, it was right to the top of that thong tree. Unbelievable. And it was overlapping this decking here. That is just amazing. The river's right down there. That's just insane. How are you, buddy? Good. You look like you're blogging Monopoly. Try to. It's beautiful. Oh, I think the ice cream parlor's closed, bud. That's not? Yeah. No, no. no, I think you missed out. Hey, it's not special. <laughs> hmm, which one do I want, give me? <laughs> All of them you want. Oh, that's good. Oh, that's good. Oh, She can't be into. <laughs> and I have to carry it. Yep. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be short on cafes here. No. Great choices. It's a cool little pub. Yeah, we're going to check this out. Irish pub. I get an Irish coffee. Beautiful day for a cruise. Oh, They're suspending the logs in the water from those outriggers. And they could transport 120 tonnes. Next, coming up of our starboard bow, the paddle steamer Adelaide, which is the oldest still operating timber hull paddle steamer anywhere in the world. Uh, 
you've ever been lost out yonder out where the black top ends on a back road can I get a hill yeah. So when we were going up the river in the paddle steamer, this old little village, what we thought was a little village, is actually all accommodation. How cool is that? And if you have, then lift your glass, raise them up and show some love to a better life. Pretty caravan park. Hey, cool, this ain't ya? <laughs> this bike trail is absolutely gorgeous. It's right along, just through the bushlands. It's an old road. Uh, you could do it on any bike. Um, and you're right. Right next to us, there, just there, is the river. So as we ride along, we're watching all the houseboats and paddle steamers. And I'll fly this little bit or not. Um, all the houseboats and paddle steamers coming past. It's absolutely, absolutely glorious. Lunching coffee time, let's go. The chunky steak pie ratings. All right, this pie from this joint. Steak and pepper, same as last time. I'll probably give this one a nine. Wow, very, very nice. Okay. Very no chunky steak. There is actual chunks of steak in it. Yeah. It's nice and tender. Everything's ro everything's really nice about it. Yep. Beautiful. Different little cafe. Yeah, it looks great, doesn't it? On the way to Swan Hill. Gunbower is approximately half hour from Echuca. It's definitely worth the stop. The workshop cafe is next level. They have an in-house chef that puts his heart and soul into making some mouth-watering pastries. The cafe has an assortment of collectibles, but if you're in the market for some cast iron pots, this is the place. They look amazing, don't they? Yeah, can't wait to eat them. <laughs> the gems you find on the way. We found these big ass pies. This thing, value for money, taste, everything. I'd have to give it a 9.8. Well, you don't eat pies, would you? I think? don't eat pies and I loved it. Yeah, it's 
bloody beautiful. Pastry and everything's beautiful. Pastry is amazing, yeah. yeah. yeah very impressive. Yeah. The boy Chuka. We absolutely loved our stay here. Um, yeah. That was great. Really, really enjoyed it. The N the NRMA caravan park that we stayed in uh, was very nice. Uh, nothing brilliant, but very nice. But the location. Perfect. We just walked everywhere. Well, straight into town, straight yeah. into the old village, straight. You know, I just you couldn't beat it. Cafes pubs just everything was there we actually went out last night can't remember the last time we went out of the night time to a live band and all the rest and we lasted half hour got attacked by mozzies yeah <laughs> and i mean swamped and it was so funny because when we we're walking home everyone's got the aerosol out and the roll-ons and the stickers <laughs> <laughs> hope you enjoyed the episode and we'll catch you in the next one bye see ya